job of team. My name's Ben, and this gorgeous human being is Joey. All right, name that coronary artery disease. So looking at this coronary artery, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that as unstable angina. What about the pathology of this artery leads you to that? So it looks like, well, we've got atherosclerosis here, and it looks like we've got a really thin fibrous cap. Yeah. And so that's ruptured, and it's caused damage to the blood vessel. Just like if we cut ourselves, blood's going to clot. And this lipid or necrotic core, that is very pro-thrombotic. So once this is exposed, it really wants to start the clotting process. If we start getting this clot here, what's the next problem? The next problem is the lumen, which is the amount of space where the blood flows through, is, is decreasing. And it means that we're going to get less blood going through the artery. And that's going to cause ischemia. Okay, so... When the person had stable angina, they mowed the lawns, there was increased demand for blood flow, and they couldn't supply it, and they got pain. And then when they rested, the demand dropped, and so the pain went away. What's going to happen with unstable angina? They can sit on the couch or lie down, but that's not going to get rid of the clot. And so what happens is that this person can rest, but they're still going to have pain because nothing's changed. We've still got the clot, we've still got the decrease in the lumen, and we've still got a lack of blood flowing through. Okay, ischemic heart disease was where stable angina sat. Where does this sit in the spectrum of coronary artery disease? This falls under acute coronary syndrome, or ACS. All right, um, looking at the myocardium, uh, what's happening here? Um, well, not a lot. It's gonna be it's gonna be ischemic and hypoxic, but we don't have any infarction or death to the myocardium because it's a small clot and there's enough space or lumen for the blood flow to for the blood to flow through and reach the myocardium. Yeah, it's going to be ischemic and hypoxic, but just enough that no death or infarction occurs. All right. So when they go to hospital, if they do, and they have their blood troponin test done, what's it going to come back? Normal. Okay. Ischemia, but no infarction. Excellent.